Hey, this is Sherry Veronica, and there's a guy in one of my blogs, I have many, but we all know, we all know that he's a grown man, he is in his 40s, and he still lives at home with his mom, okay? It's not as though the economy went bad and he moved back home and he built on a separate entrance or another room, you know, a little, you know, entryway to the kitchen where he can store his food. No, he lives smack in his mother's house. And when he comes on the blog and he has so such a bombastic type of personality, he must know, he must know that we in this group know about the Oedipus complex. Okay, he must know that we are not stupid. Now, I'm not saying that I am buying into all that the white man has put in their books. No, I'm not buying into it. But as a human being living on this earth, we kind of sort of know that if you are a grown person, a grown person, an adult, solely dependent on your elderly parent, solely dependent on that person that your mother if you are a guy and you are living in your mother's house trying to tell her what to do trying to run things and you are not contributing you are not bringing in money you don't have money to build on to the house so that you can have your own private entrance everyone knows that nobody's listening to you I, we, we need to tell you i'm going to put this in the blog no one listens to you no one listens to you. You are nothing. You should be ashamed, but you don't even have that. You don't even have that sort of shame. Okay? So when when you see these guys get on their get in, in their feelings and they're on these blogs and have so much to say, that's why I always it's good to know some things about some people so you can just brush them aside, just brush them away. Just brush them away, brush them aside because they say nothing, they do nothing. All they want to do is control you. They cannot even control themselves. They cannot control their situations, but they have a lot to say to control other people and make people think that they are dominant. They're not dominant. These are not dominant males, okay? They're not. So don't be listening to all these people on the blogs talking their shit. Don't, you know, just try to find out certain things about certain people before you start showing them respect or before you get into bed and throw your legs open. Come on, ladies. Come on, ladies. Any guy in his 40s who is still living and dependent, solely dependent on his mother, that's not a man. That's not someone you will have a child from. That is not a man okay if you're looking for a man that's not a man that's not a representation of a man if you want a man find someone who can stand on their own two feet and we know we know we live in the world things happen situations happen sometimes you have to do something that you wouldn't normally do we know these things but if that person is solely dependent on their mother and have been for years and have no intent, no intent of ever branching out and doing things for themselves. If that person is a oh, sucker of energy, a parasite. If that person is a parasite and exhibit this Oedipus that um, Freud described, if they have those kind of tendencies we don't know we don't know but if you are in constant interaction with your mother if you do not want to even hear about moving away from your mother if you've always depended in some shape or form on your mother after acquiring the age of 18 you still dependent on your mother what are we supposed to think what are we supposed to to think about you okay it may never happen it may never be in your mind but there's something wrong with you there's something off with anyone who does not want to branch out on their own 
have experiences, do things, become an adult. Even that same book that you read tells you that to become a man, you have to move away from your parents. Move away from your parents, okay? So to this person on my blog that is terrorizing the people on my blog, I will, I will put this in the blog and it is meant for you. We do not respect you because we know that you live at home with your mother and you are a parasite. Okay, Sherry Veronica.